Every morning when we come in, we start our day with a production meeting, and that is a rundown of what will be happening on the show that night. Uh, and as usual, one of my writers, Mike, completely derailed that meeting. Take a look. Um, yeah, I thought that desk piece turned out great, Amber. So we got a very busy day today. Let's try to run through this as quickly as possible. Mike, I'm specifically talking to you. Please, no interruptions today, all right? Thank you. Thank yes. you very much. So, for guests tonight, we got Jeff Goldblum, then we'll talk to Dick Cavett, and in Act 6, we are going to do a cooking segment. Oh, also, my cousin Skiz is on the show. What? Yeah, he's going to do vape tricks. Mike, you can't just book guests on the show without telling anyone. I did tell you. I would never have agreed to that. On Monday, I said, my cousin Skiz is coming to the show this week, and you said, that's awesome, Mike. And I specifically remember, because up until then, you've never said, this is awesome, Mike, about anything. I thought you meant he was coming to watch. Oh, he wouldn't do that. He hates this show. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, no Trump jokes today. Skiz is a fan. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, not of his politics. He just thinks he's a good husband. You invited a Trump fan on this show to do vape tricks. The man gave me a kidney, Reese. He did? Yeah. And I didn't even ask for it. He just showed up one day with an igloo cooler and asked me to stash it. How do you get to work every day? Does an adult drop you off? No, a child drives me. I'm sorry, did that sound sarcastic? I meant, no, a child drives me. Well, Mike, uh, we can't have four guests on the show. I'm sorry. Well, then one of us is going to have to deliver the bad news. You! You're the only one who knows him. I don't know Jeff Goldblum. We're not bumping Jeff Goldblum. Oh, poor Dick Cavett. I have a question. Yes, Giz is circumcised. That is not even in the ballpark of my question. What vape tricks does this boy actually know? Currently none, but he said he'd learn some by tonight. He doesn't even know any vape tricks? Uh, neither does Jeff Goldblum, and you still booked him. God, what is his problem today? When I first met you, I assumed this was some sort of bat kid scenario. But it's been a few years now, and you're still here. Okay. I know I don't speak up much here. Oh my god, it's literally the only thing you do here. But I'm feeling very attacked right now when I did absolutely nothing wrong. You booked your cousin on the show without telling anyone to perform a skill he doesn't have. Hey, I'm looking for the dressing room and also ecstasy. You must be skiz. No, I work for Dick Cavett, and for the record, he prefers powder to pills. That's very cool. Well, tell Dick Cavett we don't have any of that stuff. Wow, okay. He's gonna freak. I accept your apology. Get out of here.